so let's talk about um, putting on our basic forms onto our piece. So this is going to be just generic placement of body parts. So nose, eyes, mouth, that sort of stuff. Um, and the first thing that I want to do is actually we're going to start to move away from this blockhead form. So I'm going to smooth everything out. Um, and this is where, and I'm also going to get rid of any like areas of the clay that is like kind of sticking out, doing anything weird. Also notice that I've left the um, towels on the shoulders because I'm not working on that right at the moment. So anything that I'm not working on, I want to keep that covered. Even out that chin a little bit. This is the other thing that I'm doing as I'm going through this is just making sure everything is kind of um, symmetrical. And then I'll check my measurements again as well. Always check all of your measurements. The front face of your head should be flat at this point. So if you have something that's like super round or you're starting to look like um, a bean head, we're doing it wrong. We want to um, we want to have a square head um, because we're going to use this from this point. I'm going to show you guys how to take away chunks of your clay so that it will um, look like a head. Okay. So right now I'm going to check my uh, measurements. So I remembered that my um, height from the front to the back is um, eight inches. So that's staying good. And I'm fine with the fact that it's like it. So it's that. Um, eight inches is where it should like kind of start curving back. There's a little hole underneath here that I, uh, from clay that I just didn't put in, so I'll just fill it in. Again, I'm not worried about any um, air pockets. <laughs> So all of that clay that I'm scraping off, like that's still nice and wet clay. So I'm just putting that all back in. So while I put, I used 50 pounds of clay to put this all together. I've already taken off at least like 12 pounds of clay. Okay, so now what I'm doing is um, I'm going to start to measure. I want to measure that halfway point. So I look at the top of the bottom. We're putting it at four inches because it was eight inches tall. And I'm going to try to bring this all the way around level and even, which, um, you know, we'll get there. 
And this is part of why I want to keep it in that blockhead state because, okay, so there we can see, oopsie doops, I'll bring that back up so that it's not going down. So we're going to put, we're going to section this all out into quadrants now, okay? So the first quadrant that I want you to put on is right at that halfway point and we're measuring it from the front of your head. Okay, and then you're going to bring that all the way around um, level to wherever your head is looking. So if you're looking up, then your then this line won't be level with the um, or horizontal with the ground. Um, I'm looking straight forward, so it's just going. It should be horizontal with my board. Now I'm going to divide my head in half. So if you remember, it was um, six inches across. So I have three inches on either side, okay, and I want to make sure that that goes evenly from front to back. And then we're going to do another one that is going in the middle. So again, this is going to be, if we look at the top measurement, that's, it's, my head is eight inches deep as well. So we're doing the top measurement at that four inch mark as well. And then that's gonna come down and it should be four inches on either side. Sorry for looking at the back of my arm, um, but we want four inches on either side of that um, middle line, even on the, the head part there, okay? Cause that's actually gonna define what my ear is and also where my jaw line is and all sorts of stuff. So I'll make sure that that so it's really important that you kind of like check this, make sure that it's right, um, make sure, because it'll muck up everything later on. So it's really important that you have a good measurement uh, on this. Okay, so now I need to divide this into thirds. So if we're going um, eight inches, um, divided by three. So we're looking at like roughly two and a half inches into each um, section. Two and, two and two thirds. Okay, but it should be even, top, middle, and bottom. So bottom I wanna actually my mouth's a little bit high, so I'm gonna lower that a little bit. So my middle measurement should also match my bottom measurement, should match my top measurement. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Okay. So what we're looking at, that top line there, those are my eyeballs, okay? So my eye sockets fit right in between. They sit on top of that halfway point. And my, the middle part, like where my eyeball starts, is literally the, the distance between my two eyes. So this is something that you, can me you should measure on your own head. I'm gonna measure the width of my eyeball. Okay, and then I'm going to put that right into the middle of this. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. I'm going to gouge those eyeballs out. Okay, this is where we're starting to look like an Iron Man. Okay, so the, your eye sockets um, are placed in between that middle line and that top third line and I'm pulling it all the way out to the side so it's not just a ball that's a hole in your head it's literally like your the bone is going back um, further than where your nose um, uh, the bridge of your nose is okay now I'm gonna measure I measure I'm gonna check my measurement so that where the, my brow is to the bottom of my nose you can see that that is Look at that, how that's the same. That's crazy, right guys? It's fun facts. So your nose is one third the height of your face. 
And then I'm gonna just pop a little Squidward nose on here. It's okay, we're not trying to make things perfect right now. We're just getting clay in the appropriate places, okay? Okay, let's measure my nose. See how wide I need to make that. Okay, that's looking good. Now I wanna find the middle point of my um, eyeball. So I'm gonna measure this again, which should actually be the same measurement as my eye. Oh, look at that. Your eyeball is one eyeball across from each other, okay? So that's looking good. That's where my little, that's where the my tear ducts go, right there. Okay, check your measurements multiple times. Okay, now from here, I want to find that middle point of my eye. Because this is actually going to determine how wide my mouth is, where my mouth goes. Okay, so I'm going to find that middle point on my eyeball and then draw that line uh, going straight down. Okay, so that is the width of my mouth right there. Okay, now this bottom bit, we're gonna divide. Um, into thirds again. Okay, so you can see, right? Look at that. Your mouth goes to the middle of your eyeballs, to like right where your pupils are. Almost dropped the whole thing. Oops. So now I'm looking to divide this into thirds, okay? So we'll judge with my finger. Mm, I need to lower that just a little bit. I'll lower this just a little bit. Okay, so that line right there, that is the opening of my mouth. And then that second line is actually where, like my chin, if your chin's gonna come out or not, um, that's where that goes. So when I'm looking at my image um, of my head, my chin comes out further than my brow, so I'm gonna add clay. And most people end up adding clay, um, but you know, it totally depends on, this is where it starts to become a little bit more unique to your face. Okay, we're gonna add some clay for the lip. And it's gonna look like a mustache, so we wanna do it like a, um, Oh, what am I thinking about? Um, like a croissant roll. So it's really thick in the middle and thin on the sides. So it should blend into the sides. Okay, but you see how that like lip just kind of shot out. That's duck lip. That is our, our duck lip. So I want to actually add clay there too so that it's actually, so my mouth is coming more directly down. So if you look at my profile of my face, like my lip isn't like popping out. It looks like it's coming straight down. This is part of why my face is still in the thing so you guys can see. Um, because when it comes, when my lip comes down, it's actually attached kind of to the middle point of my nose. And I'm not gonna try to make it like perfect, just like generally in the right spot.
Okay, and now we'll make the bottom lip. And again, um, we're gonna taper it out to the sides, create a little bit. I'm, I'm not smoothing out both sides of it. I'm just smoothing out one side of it. And I'm gonna try to keep that depth going back into my mouth. Okay, so this right here, that's where my ear hole is, right there. That is the hole of my ear going back into my skull. And then this is my jawline, okay? So I'm going from the back point, that middle point of my head, to just below my chin. So not quite at the point of my chin, but close to. Okay, so that's my jawline. And then this stuff is a no-go. This is all gonna go away. Okay, we'll do that over on this side. So I'm connecting it to the back side of the head, that middle point, and then to a, just a little bit below my chin. Again, there's my jawline, and this is all gone. None of that business. So I'm gonna cut out this part here to actually start to create my head. So the back of your skull actually starts to go in at that middle point, okay? It doesn't go straight down into your neck. So wire cutter is a great tool for this. And I'll just stuff, like cut this stuff off. Cool. And then we can kind of round this over a little bit. I don't need any of this business. Get rid of that corner because my neck doesn't have corners. Get rid of a little bit more of that like excess chin. And that's already starting to look better. Like more like a head, less like a Gumby figure. Okay, we'll take away this side. Take away those corners. So I'm kind of taking, any time I find like a corner, I'm trying to like kind of round that off because we don't really have a lot of corners on our heads. Now let's get rid of like bigger corners. So I'm gonna start to round all of this over and kind of in and start to smooth it all out. further and further away from that blockhead. We haven't gotten rid of blockhead yet. We still have more to do, but we're moving away from blockhead. So now we have kind of that curve on the back of our uh, neck to our head. And let, let's start to get rid of some of this, a little, a little more of this blockiness. Let's see if I can take this off. Hmm, that's actually a little too much. So I'm gonna just take away We'll take away a little bit less. So I'm gonna get rid of these like corners. So that the curve on my head becomes, a, like on the top of my head, becomes a little bit more um, subtle. Um, so this is where beading things comes in great. So um, I'm just using my little like flexi board. You can use whatever flat thing you have. Round over all of these corners. And you can all watch the back of my arm. So 
So what I'm looking for when I'm doing this is I'm trying to follow kind of the curve, um, the silhouette of my form. I'm making sure that that looks kind of like, you know, roundish. Now let's take away this part right here. Now this is where we really start to establish the skull along with the jawbone, okay? And you can see how much that changes the sculpture in and of itself just by creating that jawbone. And all of these lines are really like kind of soft and flowy. So if you happen to see the back of my head, when my head comes back into frame, um, kind of pay attention to what's going on in the back of my head. Um, the glory that is having half of your head shaved. Um, but also what it looks like around my jawline. So right now my jawline is pretty hot, like hard to find and I'm gonna definitely soften that up just by taking out that edge there. So I'm gonna soften and kind of round. So remember guys, if things don't look right 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 now, that's because it's not right yet. We're not even remotely close. We're just blocking out the basic figures and we're still in the middle of kind of blocking out our form. We haven't actually created anything yet that is supposed to look like us. I've done a couple of measurements that matches my head in terms of how wide it is, how long it is, how like deep it is, how tall it is. Um, I did I did look at what my like nose thickness was and I checked my eyeballs and that sort of stuff um, But otherwise no, I don't have a lot of detail there I am looking at the side of my neck and kind of like how that's kind of coming in so I might end up adding some more clay in some places taking away some clay We'll smooth this all out so that it starts to, and this also starts to make a little more sense when we were talking about like working on our shoulders and stuff and how I needed to bring that up a little bit more. Yeah, oh, I did need to bring it up a little bit more because I am definitely like, because my neck goes up higher in that block form. So I'll round over that skull and really have it start to look like it's like, you know, flowing into my neck. Cause my skull doesn't look like drastically different. Like it's not like a weird lump coming off the back of my head. Sometimes I think I did my hair just this way so I could like have this conversation. And so I'm, as, I, as I'm using this paddle, like, so a couple of things. One, the clay is still very soft, which is super important. Um, two, I can just kind of round it over. So instead of just beating it, I'm actually like rounding over these little parts. And as I work forward, like it's gonna have more and more of a natural curve to it. But we're not trying to get there all at once. We're getting there slowly by doing a couple of different things um, instead of trying to make everything perfect all at once because still my the front of my face still looks very blocky But that's because we still have a lot more to do on that We're not anywhere close to making it look like you yet The only thing we got is the basic proportions should match um, Your head in terms of where the eye like how wide your eyes are um, if your chin is coming out in front of or behind your brow, um, where your mouth is, that sort of stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna start to work a little bit on that cheek like bone, okay? So from the corner of my eye down to the bottom. So if we take my, where my lips are coming down, I'm gonna draw a line straight down, kind of like a, um, a dummy, you know, like a, um, 
ventriloquist dummy sort of thing, how it will go straight down from the edges. And then I'm gonna take off this corner. Okay, so from the eyeball to the cor bottom corner of the chin, if we did that little ventriloquist dummy like kind of thing, like that's already starting to make things look a little bit better. Because we're trying to round this whole form out. Like your face is rounded over your skull. Your skull is not a square, we know this. But we're starting off with a square because it'll make it a little bit easier. Now I'm gonna add a little bit, so I'm gonna take that same like triangle and actually add it back onto my cheeks. Because your face isn't flat. I'm gonna pull that lower lip out a little bit more because if we're looking at my, just when we're looking at my port, like um, uh, outline profile, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Just by looking at my profile, like you'll notice that my upper lip and my lower lip are kind of lined up with each other. Now this is different on everybody. This is just happens to be what I know my face happens to look like. And that's where, this is where we start to see kind of some variations. So basic proportions, um, everybody's pretty much the same on that front. Um, but then once we start to get into individual proportions about like how much is, is happening, um, like how much for, like it, because it has to do with muscle and skin. And that's where we start to see variations. When we talk about skeletal structure, we don't see as much variation between um, humans. But how those muscles form and how our like skin kind of forms over things, that's where we start to see some variation. Now you notice I'm pinching back um, the sides of my mouth because I want my mouth, my mouth shouldn't be a flat surface going across the front of my face. My mouth is actually curved around my teeth, right? And my teeth aren't flat in the front. They are a rounded form. So I'm trying to make it so that this, I'm thinking about this, I'm always thinking about what the skeletal structure is underneath the skin. If we were thinking about this in terms of like potter-like things, like when I'm throwing a wheel, like a pot on the wheel, I'm always thinking about what my internal form is more so than my external. So I'm really pulling away a lot of that clay right next to the jawline. And sometimes you can see that like when my face kind of comes into focus, you can see how my jaw is sort of separated from my cheeks. And it does, yes, you are right. It does vary between people. Um, but this is also why it's really important to have, so part of why I like, part of what I know about my face because I've sculpted myself several times, um, is that I do have like my cheeks, my cheek and my, my jaw definitely have a defining variation on it, okay? Um, and I always go, I'm always more exaggerated than what I need because it's easy to bring it back um, but you wanna you wanna really exaggerate those features first. So this is without even really looking too much at a picture of myself. I I do have an unfair advantage in that I have been staring at pictures of myself every semester for several hours a semester for the past I don't know uh, eight to ten years, um, possibly more now. I'm not really sure. So I have that advantage, but I can tell you that it's just something more along the lines of like, just we, we just gotta pay attention to these things. So I'm constantly working on making sure that my mouth is not flat across my face, but actually curved out. And by curving out, I, that means not only did I add clay to bring it forward, but I'm also taking clay to bring it back at those corners of my mouth. You can see that already makes a big 
difference. So let's start to smooth some of this stuff out and kind of like level it, make it a little bit more even. The other thing that I'm always looking for at this particular point is that I'm really looking to keep things kind of symmetrical, okay? So right now I'm looking down over the top of it and I'm seeing, okay, like are, are my cheekbones coming out the same? Are my, is my lip coming out the same? Which the answer is no, which is why I added a little bit more clay there. Um, so staring, being able to stare down over the top and change your angle easily and frequently is super important to just kind of match, match what's going on. I am starting to see a little bit of that line of the cheek that if you look on my face is definitely exists there. Like, um, cause you can see like kind of the curve of the cheek that comes out and then there's a different plane where the mouth is actually involved. I'm gonna vote I probably need a little bit more nose on the front, but you know, we're not there yet. We're not, we're not actually at the point where we're trying to match actual body parts yet. I do wanna cut off these corners. So right at the corner of the brow to like the middle of the eyeball, I'm gonna kind of shave that off so that it goes back. And then we'll get rid of a, that a heavier curve there too, like that harder corner, so that it's all a little bit more rounded. And then I'll use, I'm using this to actually like round it over. So it's not just that I'm slapping down on different areas. I'm actually using it like, so if you, when you get a chance to not see the back of my arm, you can see how I'm just kind of rounding this over the surface. And then if there's an area that I can't really like round out, then I will like hit it with the, with the piece. But for the most part, I really just need to kind of like move things around. See how I'm rolling it over the surface? And that's already looking way more head-like and a little less um, Gumby block head-like. Now, my head isn't perfectly round on the top. If like, I mean, guys, go feel your head. Like there's kind of like a little like flat spot over the, the top part of your head. And, and people differ, so it's not gonna be like perfect. So you don't have to make it perfect either, but we do wanna make it so that it's, remember your head is longer than it is wide. So if it looks like a ball, if your head looks like a ball, we're doing it wrong. But I can see right now, like one side of my head is like higher than the other side of my head. So I wanna like, I'm working on fixing that and kind of evening it out a little bit. And don't be afraid to take away or add clay, guys. Um, our goal at this point is to start, we're really working on trying to make things sort of symmetrical. Make sure that the clay is starting to like, and we're rounding it out, we're softening. So what was before a very heavy block form, we're starting to soften all of those features. And that's kind of how we want to work forward is like we're going to make really drastic changes and then we're going to soften them. Make a drastic change and then soften. Drastic change, soften. And this is pretty much a constant. And you can see that's already looking way more human than where we were before. So the, my goal at this point is to just make sure that everything is um, more rounded, even, um, 
symmetrical both from front to back so each one of those quadrants um, if you're looking straight down on the top of the head it should start to um, even out and start to sort of mirror each other a little bit remember you shouldn't if you're looking directly down on the top of your head you're looking at more of an oval shape than you are of a circle okay so if your head is starting to look like a big ball then we're doing it wrong the likelihood that your head is the same width as it is uh, deep is uh, very unlikely um, so that's something that you want to keep keep in mind and keep measuring By using the uh, serrated side of the rib, it's also a lot easier to kind of smooth out and get rid of any um, kind of weird bumps that might be left over from either my mark making um, or just peeling away the clay. That sort of weird um, kind of cellulite looking um, texture that can kind of form on the surface. This will get rid of a lot of that. So I just want to, like at this point, I'm kind of finishing off my head ready to apply um, hair when it's ready but I want to make this look like pretty nice and also keep it keep my um, ear hole in the appropriate place because we will need to attach some ears at some point in time if you're doing something with your hair that's going to cover up your ears you do not have to make ears I would say that ears are not one of the harder things to make. If you want to reference back to um, my smaller, the pinch pot head um, on making ears, they're, they're oddly enough one of the easier, I find them to be one of the easier ones to work with just because it's not something that we stare at as much. Um, so we don't, yeah, it's not something that we like really tie our identity to. So it almost makes it much easier to sculpt those. going to work underneath the chin just starting to smooth that out a little bit now I'm not trying to make it um, depending this is something else that changes according to kind of your own person depending on where um, your what your neckline looks like um, and whether or not it's going straight back or if it's going down um, it really like depends on where your tongue and your throat is <laughs> on your body so it's not something um, and kind of like how you, um, how your body just sort of naturally holds that. And it's something that changes too. It's not like a standard um, thing. You're, it's, cause it, again, it's a muscle that's floating around in your neck. And so you can actually, just like you can suck in your stomach, you can suck in your neck. Um, and depending on what angle you're holding your head, that's also going to change that look. So this is something where I'm not going to really worry about that too much um, at that point. But, you know, I'm going to try to aim for it to be somewhere where there's clay where there should be. And now I'm kind of working on just smoothing out the face and actually allowing that textured mark to work a little bit along my hairline so that I, it's kind of helping me like work where my face is going to be and where my hairline is, that sort of stuff. It's not perfect. That is not what we're going for. We're just going for like basic symmetry, making sure that my ear holes are in the right spot. So right now I'm checking my width. So between like the corner of my eye to where my ear hole is, I wanna make sure that that's the same. And so I'm looking down over the top while my fingers are in both of my ears so that I can make sure that they're actually level um, and meeting on the same plane. So like if I put a bar through my head, it like the bar should come out of both of the ears going straight across instead of like some sort of wonky angle. I'm looking at the overall silhouette of my head and also kind of where the, my brows are, that sort of stuff. 
Now, I do not think that this um, really looks like me, but it does look like a human being, which is kind of what I'm going for. Um, it's exactly what I'm going for, honestly. So that's if you are at a point now where your thing is starting to look like a human being, doesn't need to look like you, just needs to look like a human being with its eyes gouged out, then you are doing the right thing. So I noticed that my um, cheek slash chin was a little bit uneven, so I added a little bit of clay over to the left side. And I want that bone up at the top to kind of like flow back. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of clean up and we'll, um, so that we can get ready for our next stage, um, which is where we are going to start to need pictures. So if you don't already have pictures of your head that includes your profile image, um, then we are doing it wrong. So go get your pictures out and um, get those printed. You can see this already looks a lot better, especially from the back. We can start to see that jawline from the back. Um, it's, we're, not a, we're not a square anymore. Um, and then remember to keep your head, when you are not working on it, keep your head well covered with a damp cloth and covered in plastic. Um, we want to make sure that this all stays uh, nice and soft. All right, there we go. I'll see you next time.